Hey guys, Arbiter G Adam here with once again a special uh, video on something. It's not a door though. It is this. This is a model, a working model of a World War II howitzer, the M1A1. And um, quick history on it. This was uh, about four. Uh, Two years ago, during the summer in my junior year in high school, a friend, a friend, me and a friend, uh, at his house, found some old pieces of wood um, and a pipe, and decided we were going to make a howitzer out of that, which worked out pretty well. We used it for fireworks, but it was pretty small, so we upgraded from that and came out with the M Triple Seven model, and that was cool, but it still wasn't good uh, wood, and we were using PVC pipe and flat spare tires. And then after that, we came out with this design, and then app, uh, and the last add-on was the recoil tube. Um, but anyways, so this is uh, Schedule 40 PVC pipe, so it, it can handle fireworks pretty well, um, depending on what you put in it. Ooh, listen to that. Depending, depending on what you put in on it. Um, this was originally made for a project for a Technology Student Association um, for Smithson Valley High School. And uh, for you familiar, or for anybody that's not familiar with that association and kind of wants to learn more about it, uh, there I have another website or channel uh, with my name, Michael Marinisi. It's M-A-R-I-N-E-S-I -E is the last name. And uh, if you go on that channel and select... Um, uh, SVHS TSA 2014 I think it was uh, the, there's a video of this and different pictures and it just basically shows you what I did in high school and this was actually um, senior year in high school we actually brought this to the school got our own uh, warehouse or uh, wood shop down there down uh, near the ag barn and uh, we used that wood shop to manufacture this and make it better and everything. So it was, we got our own little wood shop, which was really cool. Uh, so it was pretty big, too. But anyways, so that's the history of it. It's pretty old, but uh, keep up with it. So, um, legalities with these things. Perfectly legal. Cops can't say anything. It is considered a model. It's PVC pipe. It's not steel. Um, if you were to try to shoot something out of it like this, and you don't know what you're doing, you're going to kill yourself, no doubt. Um, hints as to you cannot pick up uh, plastic in an x-ray machine. So if you get this PVC pipe blown up on you, and you're an idiot about it, and you put too much black powder or whatever in it, you're going to uh, not have a great day. But anyways... So if you're just going to use it for little mortar fireworks and everything, it'll, it'll take them great. I mean, if worse comes to worse, and you are the person that's loading the mortar or firework, doesn't know what they're doing, throws it in there, and it was to blow up, as long as it's not an Excalibur, you'd be all right, and it, it would contain it, and nothing would happen to the pipe. That's happened a few times with people that don't know what they're doing. But, um... This is all wood. The only steel parts of it are the screws. There's two hinges back here. And then there's the, uh, this is an actual trailer axle for trailers. So that worked out really well. Now, you can go a step further and you can actually make it elevation uh, capable. So I'll show you that in a second here. All right, so basically, I have a string under there, and it's going to a crank. Yeah, there it is. And then the back of it's going to a pulley. And then that's going to pull the back of it. I obviously can't raise it far in here. Well, actually, i got to wait for it to catch. Oh, come on. Yeah, give me one second here. But uh, so to reel it up, you just gotta. It's pretty hard. But, yeah. Yeah. I actually already hit my ceiling. But uh, so yeah, there you go.
All right, so here it is with the elevation up. That's not full because it's it's hitting my ceiling. But uh, actually, no, that is full. Never mind. Sorry. That's about as high as that'll go for now. If I raise the back up a little bit, I can get a few more inches out of it. But it's a pretty fun howitzer. Um, like I said, I shoot mortars out of it. And then uh, the 243rd Ordnance is actually from the TSA chapter I was assigned to. That was the uh, chapter 243. So that's pretty cool. Fun times. But uh, so you can either shoot mortars, or if you have a 105 shell, you can use a 105 to. Um, what I do is I take the uh, Spectricide stump remover that has the potassium nitrate in it. I do three tablespoons of that. Or no, I think it was, I think it was a two to three ratio. Two tablespoons of potassium nitrate and three of sugar. And then I just keep making more and more mixtures of that. And I put barely any, maybe just a beaker size in that. Uh, throw a fuse in the back and then put probably 20 sheets of paper in there take a, a sludge hammer and just hit it really hard until I can compact the paper so then we take the shell well actually I'll lower it now since we're trying to out this But we'll take the shell and we'll throw it in here like so. And then I have a bolt that uh, it would slide up and then lock down and then that's pretty strong. And then uh, we'd have the fuse protruding out the side over here. We light the fuse and it is very loud. You get a big mushroom cloud at the front of the muzzle. Or you can do the mortars that shoot out the front. As for the legs, they are standard wood still. I mean, originally, the design was actually a hinge with these guys. And the hinge ran off of right here. So. But we used that design for, I think, a year and a half until it just got out of hand. And every time we would use it, Somehow the wood would end up breaking, cracking, there's already cracks in that side, and we have to keep replacing it. So, for a temporary solution for that, I just went to Home Depot and bought um, giant gate hinges, and those are working out pretty good for now. And I put giant lugs in them, so they're, they're pretty good. I mean, they're holding the ball rafters, so but yep, so that, that's our uh, model howitzer. And like I said, as long as you're not throwing gunpowder in it, extreme, or you're not uh, you're not shooting projectiles out of it, except for maybe a tennis ball, perfectly legal. And I do haul this on a trailer behind my truck. And uh, yeah. Oh yes. Now these stripes. Uh, sometimes people put them on there just for looks. This is actually here for a reason. Um, this guy right here. I think. Let's see. This was the day we shot it off at the uh, Smithson Valley High School. So that was my high school. I think this was the day we brought it to the actual state competition up in Waco. Uh, let's see. I think this was New Year's Eve, and I think that may have been... That was my graduation party. So that's the most recent one we do. And then 4th of July, I'll put another one right here. But so it, it's had... I mean, if you wanted to go technical, it's had four tours of duty. Or four deployments so far. So, we'll see if, how far we get that barrel covered up in uh, stripes. But yep, that is my M1A1 howitzer. And like I said, if you do want to see it shooting, or pictures of it in the slideshow, you can go to my uh, Michael Marinisi channel and select SVHS TSA 2015. Thank you.